Well, good morning and welcome to Ignite This Morning. For those of you who haven't been before, my name is Ben Sheldon and I'm the youth worker here at St Mary's Church in Billingshurst. And this is the session that we would normally do on a Sunday morning. So join us for Ignite. But the first thing I want you to do is uh, to see this challenge that I think we should try and do this week. It's a little bit like a hopscotch, but you've got to use your hands and feet. So uh, watch this clip as I try to do it, and then maybe have a go at home. Uh, maybe challenge those who live with you uh, to see if they can do it as well. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me try and get down the corridor there, and I do hope that you have a go at home. All you need to do is draw a right foot, a left foot, a right hand and a left hand on a piece of paper, and try and muddle them up, and make a pathway going down a long straight room. Uh, and do record yourselves, and if you want to, pop them on Instagram and tag us, at stmarys.youth, and we can all join in the fun together. But the plan for this morning is I'll go through our Gospel reading, I'm going to retell it a little bit like I did last week, I've got some discussion questions, some reflection points, and I'm going to end in a prayer as well. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to retell the story. But if you want to read the story uh, for your own, in your own Bible first, feel free. It's taken from Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. And if you want to read that at home now, feel free to pause the video now. Excellent. Well, if you did that at home, uh, fantastic. And if you didn't, no problem. I'm going to retell our story now. So let's jump straight into that. This is the account of Palm Sunday as we now know it. And it's when Jesus is hes on his way to Jerusalem. And they get to this tiny little village called Bethpage. And they stop just outside. And Jesus says to his disciples, go into the village. And there you will find a donkey and a colt. Bring them to me. And if anybody asks you what you're doing, just say, the Lord needs them. Now the disciples must think that Jesus is going crazy. They must be saying things like, well, hang on, you know, you're effectively telling us to go and steal a donkey. That's not right. Surely that's not okay. But they do, as Jesus says, they go into the village and there is the donkey. So they bring it back to Jesus and they put their coats over the top and they make a seat for Jesus. And as they do this, crowds start to form going down the road to Jerusalem. And all these people are laying their coats down on the road. People are cutting branches down from the trees and laying them on the road. And they make a pathway for Jesus. And as Jesus rides through, the crowds are cheering and screaming. And they're saying things like, Hosanna! And blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And when he gets to Jerusalem, the whole of Jerusalem is stirred up, saying, who is this? And everybody's turning to each other. And people are saying, this, this is Jesus, the prophet from Galilee. Now I'm going to put some discussion questions on the screen. Feel free to discuss them with those around you. And I'm going to pop back in a minute and I'm going to show you my reflection points as well. But I do hope you found those discussion questions useful. And I've just got four things that I think are really quite useful when reflecting on this passage. The first one of these is that this is the beginning of Jesus' journey to the cross. This is the beginning of the Easter story. We all know what happens on Good Friday and on Easter Sunday. But this right here is the very beginning of Holy Week, as we call it now. The week that leads up to those moments. And this journey into Jerusalem is the very start of that. So it's really significant for us. But then we get on to my second point, which is that Jesus rode in on a donkey. Now that might seem completely insignificant, but actually this fulfilled a prophecy from the Old Testament, from Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, where it says, Say to daughter Zion, See your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. So Jesus is fulfilling an Old Testament prophecy. But also, back then, the donkey was a symbol for peace. So by riding in on a donkey, not only is he fulfilling an Old Testament prophecy, showing that he's going to be their king, but also he's saying that he is going to be a peaceful king. That he doesn't come to destroy everything, but he is peaceful. 
And the third thing I want to point out is what the crowd is shouting. The crowd is shouting, Hosanna, which literally translates as save now. So it's almost like the crowd are lining the streets shouting, save us, save us now. And they're asking Jesus to be their saviour, to be the person to save them from the situation that they find themselves in at this moment. And the fourth thing, the palm branches that they lay down on the road. Now back then, palm branches represented goodness and victory. And so they're saying that Jesus is going to be a victorious saviour. And little do they know that the way that Jesus is going to save them comes on, on Easter Sunday when he is victorious over death. So we get these three things that Jesus is saying that he is going to be. He's going to be peaceful. The people are calling him their saviour. And the palm branches show that he is going to be victorious. What a wonderful image from these little 11 verses that we get. Jesus is going to be our peaceful saviour who is victorious over death. And even in these strange times that we're living in now, where we don't really know what's going on, I think we can find so much to be grateful for each week. And for me, this passage right here is one of those things that we can be grateful for. The knowledge that Jesus is our saviour and that he is going to be victorious. What a wonderful thing. Now, I, I challenge you to try and not let evil detract from the real meaning of Holy Week this week. Try and focus on what it means for you and for me as we journey through this week together. And what we're going to do, we've got a holiday club going on for the kids, but actually I'm going to try and produce a video for us, uh, for our Ignite age group, each day this week to help us reflect on what Holy Week means for us and for what this Easter story means for you and for me. But right now, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this account of Palm Sunday. I thank you that this passage shows us that you are a peaceful saviour who is going to be victorious. And Lord, now I pray for each one of us as we are today. Lord, I pray for the sick, may you heal them. I pray for the worrying, may you give them calmness. And I pray for those who require peace. Lord, would your spirit be with us all this week as we go about whatever it is we face this week. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in, and do come back tomorrow when we start the first of our Holy Week series. So until then, bye.